Welcome to the Airedale All Access Show, powered by Crabtree RV. I'm Jimmy Hoss, along with Coach Doug Lockridge. Tonight, week one of the uh, season for 2018. Van Buren was in town. Uh, Big time rivalry. They had a new coach. They had new enthusiasm. They snuck Houston Nut in. I don't know if that was so good, but yeah, that's what they did. And uh, you know what? They come out ready to play. And you know, Coach, uh, your team was fired up. It's a big uh, uh, county rivalry, uh, and uh, this was a rebuilding season. Not going to make any excuses for Alma because it's Alma. And uh, but you you lost a lot to graduation last year. But I got to tell you something. I was impressed with the uh, with the adjustments that you guys made at halftime. You went on a 20-0 run in the second half, and uh, you were within eight points. And I mean, you got you guys had the momentum, and, and uh, you know, hats off to the kids for not uh, they could have just rolled over and played dead and mailed it in. And you know, we've seen some teams that Alma's got out in front of. They've absolutely done that, but that just goes to the character of this Alma Airedale team. I was proud of the kids. They played all four quarters, all the way to the last the last whistle, and you know, never gave up. They they got behind and just scratched and clawed back. I thought. Offensively, you know, I thought we did some good things and scored scored quite a few points, enough points to, to get there and win. Defensively, you know, I thought we settled down in the second half and played much better and, and didn't give up the big plays like we did in the first half. And, you know, just like I said, hats off to our kids. I told them, you know, I know they're going to be upset. The pride's going to be hurt a little bit, but they had nothing to hang their hat about. This this game tonight does not define our football season. So, I mean, uh, you got to – Keep the overall uh, focus of that non-conference is to get us ready for conference, and this was a four-quarter dogfight that went down to the to the to the last quarter, end of the last quarter, to to, to you know to finish the ball game. So exactly. you know, I'm pr- proud of the guys. <clears throat> Austin Friendly uh, got you guys on the board, cut it to seven to six. PAT was missed, but that was five twenty-two in the first. Uh, then Van Buren went on a little bit of a run, um, but then uh, Landon Blair. Uh, Grayson Bailey answered with like nine seconds. I mean, in nine seconds after the kickoff, 78-yard touchdown pass. This is a thing of beauty. Hit him right on stride, and uh, it got behind the uh, the defense of the second half. I heard the Van Buren assistant coaches screaming in the ear. He's on the corner. He's on the corner. And sure enough, he was on the mm-hmm. corner, and uh, he got by him. And then the pass was right on the mark from Landon. It was just a beautiful thing. It was, you know, offensive line did a great job picking up the protection and Landon he'll stay he'll stand in there and stare down and find his receivers, delivered a good ball and you know came with a big play. Coach tonight, uh very frustrating at times because uh every time their uh, their quarterback had run out of the pocket when the pressure came up the middle, he was running out of the pocket. You didn't know if he was gonna run or throw and uh, you know, your, your defense leveled him a couple of times. You had three personal fouls roughing the uh, roughing the passer. I know that the officiating crews this year, especially the first few ball games, are so gun shy, and they've got to pull that flag quickly. Well, at least some of them do. Not all of them, because when we watched the game the other night that uh, they didn't pull out, and the kid got his helmet knocked off. But it was a bang bang judgment call. But Tonight, man, they really protected that Van Buren quarterback, and that—that's you know, and we're seeing this more and more. They're going to protect the defenseless player going over the middle, and they're going to protect the quarterback. And you guys got whistled for three of them. Um, one of them I thought was legit. The other two I thought, mm, okay, you know, and, and I get it, I get it. We don't want to see any kids get hurt, um, but it's going to get to a point where that's going to be a focus, and the officials, I, I think, after two or three weeks, will. The, the kids will get used to the rule. The, the officials will get used to the rules, and uh, I, I don't think we'll see too many more of those. Those are judgment calls, and you know that's we just got to coach up our kids and know the difference between one step hit and more than one step. You know, if, right. it's, if it's more than one step, we got to lay off. And and you know our kids were just being aggressive and, and playing hard, and you know it's a fine line. You want to coach them, coach them, coach them, play hard, but then you've also got to they got to be smart about it. Sure. So uh, definitely some good teaching points. Thirty-two to thirteen at halftime. Uh, you went in. We knew that uh, we talked about it in the booth, and, and uh, we knew you guys would regroup and, and make some adjustments. Uh, what did the coaching staff talk about at halftime? Just you know, defensively, you know, giving up those big plays. We were putting our corners in bad positions, so we went and did some more play, some more zone in the second half. Try to help them out a little bit. You know, offensively, you know, the offensive coaches just saw things they liked with what they did, and you know, it was there in the first half. We just had to execute it. So kids came out with a plan and, and did a great job with it. You know, you started off the uh, the second half. You got the ball back uh, to uh, start the second half. Uh, ended up having to punt. It was forty-one to thirteen, and you know, we we made mention on the air. We said, well, 
uh, this team will uh, show us what they're made of this year. And you guys did. You went on a 20-0 run, 20 unanswered points. You showed us a lot of heart and a lot of class right there because you guys on the sidelines were watching the coaches. You stayed focused. And the kids on the sidelines, they weren't, you know, they weren't just talking, you know, with, with their buddies and, and uh, kind of hanging out. They all, every head was turned to that field and every head was paying attention because they didn't know if they were going in or maybe they were the next the next player in. So, you know, it was good to see the focus and it paid off. I mean, 20 old run was impressive. You know, we're, we're a young football team in some areas and I think these guys really grew up and we played a lot of kids tonight. You know, there's a lot of guys on and off the field that had to be focused and going in and going out. You know, for the most part, we had a, some cramping issues. But I thought our conditioning was okay for, mm -hmm. for a, that speed of a game. I don't know how many total plays it was yet, but it was a bunch, you know, so. Right. Uh, that's a good one. To, that's a good first one to get out of the way, Coach. Uh, it was uh, with ten oh nine left. Tanner Shelton scored uh, to uh, Grayson Bailey on a twelve yard touchdown pass, made it forty one to twenty seven. The next thing you know, uh, after a fumble on, uh, you guys recovered a fumble on special teams, uh, landing a nine yard touchdown run. It was forty one to thirty three, and all of a sudden the Van Buren coaching staff, who had been so loud and boisterous, the first part of the ball game with ten minutes left. You could hear a pin drop in that uh, in that coach's booth, and the fun and games was over. They realized that they were in a ball game. There were still ten minutes left. We closed the gap, and our, like I said, our kids never gave up. We felt good going into that part of the ball game, but we just knew we was gonna have to come up, and make another big stop, and when we got the ball back, we we're gonna do something with it. Right. You know, twenty unanswered points tonight it ended up being forty-eight to thirty-three. Um, it, 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 the the game. It, what do you take away from a game like this? What what were some of the? And I know that it's early; you haven't got a chance to look at any of the film. But what did you take away? Just you know, in in, in you know, a quick look back on it that uh, that you can build on. Uh, you know, offensively, I thought we did some good things running the football. I thought our quarterbacks grew tonight. We you know we wheeled two quarterbacks in and out. Three actually with Fraley when he went in mm -hmm. there. Uh, offensive line wise, you know, I thought we were pretty steady. They did some things that we gave us some trouble, you know, uh, going in some parts of it. Defensively, you know, we just got to keep getting better. We're grooming all new linebackers, and they've got to keep getting better. Felt pretty steady at safety. We got a good rotation of corners. We're going to have to keep improving there. We're kind of undersized at corners, so we're going to have to find some ways to to help them out. Uh, but you know, you, you make your biggest growth in your football season between week one to week two. So we're going to have 10, 10 days before this next game. So yeah. you'll see some growth, you know, and going into the Springdale game. Looking forward to it. I'm going to take a quick time out. When we come back, we'll talk about our player of the game as the Airedale All Access Coaches Show, powered by Crabtree RV, continues right after this. <music> I expect Tanner to, to get out there, to be the general, to direct traffic, to, um, to, be, a, to be a leader, to be an encourager, to, to know the people he needs to chew on, to know the people he needs to, to pat on the butt. Um, and that's the whole point of uh, being the leader and being the quarterback and understanding that you kind of kind of lead by example and then you got to be vocal at, at, at the same times. And so um, I, I expect those things from Tanner and, and uh, Tanner's the kind of kid that he's he's not gonna kind of you know he's not gonna kind of relax or sleep or anything like that until he until he does please me. So. You know you always, you just have to be careful what you say and how and body language. If I'm down and I'm like oh there's no way we're gonna win this game, then everyone else is gonna get that get that vibe from me, and no one else is gonna try. So you just always have to keep a positive vibe and a positive attitude and try to encourage people, you know, know who you have to chew on and know who you have to just come over and sideline and say, it's all right, we'll get it next time. And so it, it teaches you a lot about responsibility, which would be like taking that off the field, it would be like as a parent you have to be the leader of the family and you just have to lead your kids. So, I mean, it teaches you a lot on the field and it teaches you more off the field in my opinion. Football season is here, and at Crabtree RV in Alma, that means model year and closeout time. The 2019s have arrived, and the remaining 18s must go. Save up to $10,000 off the original list price on new travel trailers and fifth wheels, and with payments as low as $138, zero down, and dozens under $199 a month. You won't have to break your budget to tailgate with your favorite team or just enjoy the great outdoors. Model year and closeout time only at Crabtree RV in Alma, where your family's dreams come true. See dealer for details. Are you looking for a fun dining experience that offers your favorite Mexican dishes? Visit La Fiesta in Alma off Highway 71 where we serve great food and give great service. 
this year we are proud to support the Alma Airedale All Access Coaches Show. Go Airedales! At Frank Pro Furniture in September, not only are we having no sales tax, it's free delivery as well. Don't go to a chain store and pay $100 for delivery when it's free at Frank Row Furniture. Also, any purchases in September, you will be eligible to win a 100% Made in the USA Speed Queen washer to be given away September the 29th. We offer in-store no credit check financing or 12-month zero down, zero interest WAC. Frank Roll Furniture, best yeah, seats in the that. house. You're made in the USA headquarters. I personally never thought that I'd last one day in college. Even with all my hard work, there were still times when I didn't think that I would make it. But UAFS always saw something in me that I didn't even know I had. When I get that diploma in my hands, yes, I will probably cry. But without UAFS, I would not be the man that I am today. Welcome back to the Airedale All Access Coaches Show, powered by Crabtree RV. It's time to uh, talk about the Lyle Newton, Edward Jones Player of the Game. And uh, this is something that we do each and every week. And we certainly appreciate Lyle and, uh, and the crew from uh, Edward Jones being another part of uh, the Airedale All Access Coaches Show. And, uh, let's talk a little bit about our Player of the Game. Uh, tonight, Coach, uh, you know, I like the way this young man, uh, it's an offensive player tonight, I like the way that... Uh, uh, number one, he uh, he run the routes. Uh, I like the way that he uh, continued to play hard even when the ball wasn't coming his way. Matter of fact, he uh, he blocked, uh, made the uh, opening downfield block when Landon uh, was running in for the last touchdown for Alma. Uh, but uh, Grayson Bailey had a 78-yard touchdown catch and then a 12-yard touchdown catch from Tanner Shelton. Uh, Grayson Bailey just played his tail off tonight. And, uh, six catches, 127 yards. I mean, he he played a good game. He's our uh, uh, player of the week. You know, Grayson had a big game last year against Van Buren, and uh, you know, last year he played behind Braden Johnson. You know, right. and you know, go in and out, and we would move him around, and do some things. But you know, he's a big play threat. He was our second leading receiver last year. We expected big out things out of him this year, and he had a big night tonight. Well, it was good to see, and you know, he uh, he never uh, never quit playing hard, and and uh, just you know, just the blocking and 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 the rotation you guys run. Uh, you moved a lot of a uh, lot of receivers in and out. Um, and you know, and to see uh, to see Davis run as hard as he did, I know he's cramping up, but man, that kid, he's got a listen. He's got a big old heart because he he could, he just kept getting after it. Yeah, he does. You know, he played every snap on defense, came in on offense, did a great job, and he's just he's just a warrior and the kind of kind of kid we hang our hat on, and the kind of kid we got to have in our program. Everything that uh, you want to know about the uh, Airedale school system is uh, right there on AiredaleNation.com, and uh, we certainly look forward to being with you next week. We've got Springdale coming up, a 7A opponent, uh, in our uh, second game for uh, the non-conference uh, part of the season. Uh, and then one final uh, non-conference opponent in Russellville uh, two weeks from Friday before we move into the uh, 5A West. So uh, tag along with us. If you can't make it to the game, you can tune us in on 96.7 FM and also AM 1230, the Marshall. So, uh, Coach, another uh, another tough game next week. Uh, uh, I won't say that Springdale uh, recruited well, but I want to say they had six or seven players leave Springdale Harbor. Uh, one of them was a starting quarterback, and some other players. They moved over to Springdale uh, right before school started. So uh, Zach Clark's going to be loaded uh, at Springdale when you guys go up there a week from uh, Friday, and uh, this will be another tough test for Alma. And, and uh, uh, hopefully we come through it uh, with uh, no one getting hurt as we uh, get closer and count down those days until we move into the conference matchups. Yeah, I'm a very good football team. Springdale coach Clark's done a great job. Yes, he has. They're kind of on a roll right now, and like I said, it'll be a great one for us to go. Another another big test. Back-to-back -back Razorback quarterbacks you're going to be facing that are coaches now. So <laughs> he's done a good job up there. He's right. done a really good job up there. Casey Dix off and running at uh, Van Buren. Uh, hats off to uh, Van Buren and all their fans. They, uh, listen, it's been a long time, and uh, a long time for them to celebrate. And, uh, you know, it, it, the the thing I liked about it and the thing we mentioned in the booth was is I just I hope this coaching staff stays together for the kids for a while. Um, this starts the fifth year of David Ray Sessions in the booth with me, and Van Buren's had three coaches in, uh, in, this, in this period. So hopefully for the kids' sake, they'll stick around. Uh, we're certainly glad that you're here in the, uh, the, the way that the, uh, this coaching staff is, has uh, stuck together. I, I like the uh, continuity, and I love the way that, that you guys are a family, and, and uh, I know it's something that Van Buren's striving for. So 
Um, I know the, the score wasn't uh, what you wanted it to be, but you know what? Uh, that we saw a lot of bright spots tonight uh, from up in the booth, and I know after you look at the film that uh, that uh, we'll have a uh, we'll have another good ball game next Friday night or a week from Friday. And look forward to it. We will. Like I said, we'll have a lot of growth for next week and a chance to go and grade this video and find the good things and bad things and go to work and go to correct them. Coach, uh, have a great weekend. Razorbacks will be playing. We'll hold our breath for that uh, this coming Saturday. We don't know how that team's going to be, but, you know, we'll, uh, we'll know uh, Saturday night. So I can tell you this, you uh, make it up to Springdale a week from Friday, you're going to see another hard-fought Alma football uh, game. And uh, no matter what the outcome is, uh, whether uh, Alma beats them by 50 or Springdale wins by two, It'll be a fun game, and certainly I uh, want, uh, want you to be a part of it. So tune us in week in and week out, 96.7 FM, and uh, you can also uh, find the coaches' show at airtodownation.com. For Coach Doug Lockridge, uh, Zach's in attendance tonight, his lovely wife, and Miss Kendi, they're here with us. And John, of course, uh, it was past his bedtime, so he left and already went home. And we certainly appreciate you being a part of the Airdale All Access Show, powered by Crabtree RV, and we'll see you one week from this coming Friday in Springdale.